In the heart of the Wild West, there is an unspoken bond between a cowboy and his horse, a harmonious dance that echoes through the vast plains. A cowboy's life, as rugged and untamed as the land he traverses, is intricately intertwined with that of his horse. A horse is not merely a means of transportation, but a companion, a confidant, and a beacon of hope in the midst of desolation. A cowboy's survival often hinges on this bond, a bond formed in the crucible of the wild. This bond transcends the realms of reality, seeping into the silver screen. The Western movie genre, a beloved American institution, owes much of its appeal to this dance of life and survival of man and beast. These films, with their iconic images of solitary cowboys riding into sunsets, are a testament to the enduring allure of the cowboy's lifestyle, a lifestyle where the horse is as much a character as the cowboy himself. The Western genre's roots are firmly planted in the real historical periods of the American frontier. The late 19th century, a time of lawlessness and opportunity, of gold rushes and land grabs, is the backdrop against which these stories unfold. The cowboy, a symbol of rugged individualism and the pioneer spirit, became a central figure in these tales, and at the heart of it all was the horse. The horse was the cowboy's lifeblood, his lifeline in the unforgiving wilderness. From the tough Mustangs to the swift quarter horses, each breed had its own role to play in the tapestry of the West. Their strength, their resilience, and their loyalty became the stuff of legends, immortalized in countless Western films. These films do more than merely entertain. They transport us to a time and place where life was brutal yet simple, where the bond between a man and his horse could mean the difference between life and death. They remind us of our own struggles and triumphs, of our own bonds and dances. They show us the beauty and the harshness of the wild and the courage and determination it takes to tame it. This bond, this dance, is the soul of the Western movie genre. It is the rhythm that beats in the heart of every Western film. The birth of the Western movie genre is a tale as old as cinema itself. The early days of celluloid were marked by a fascination with the untamed frontiers of the Wild West. Pioneers of the silver screen quickly recognized the appeal of the Western narrative, a testament to man's indomitable spirit and his struggle against the raw forces of nature. The Western movie genre emerged as a beacon of storytelling, shedding light on the life of cowboys, their trials, and their triumphs. Horses in these narratives were not mere beasts of burden. They were a cowboy's companions, his lifeline, his trusted allies in a world where survival hung by a thread. The Western movie genre was not just about gunfights at high noon or daring train robberies. It was about the bond between a man and his horse, the silent conversation between rider and steed, the harmonious dance of two beings as one. The horse was a symbol of the wild, untamed spirit of the West, a mirror reflecting the rugged, relentless nature of the cowboy himself. The early filmmakers understood the power of this imagery. In films like The Great Train Robbery and The Covered Wagon, Horses were more than mere backdrop. They were integral to the narrative, their galloping hooves echoing the heartbeat of the West. Their strength, their courage, their loyalty resonated with audiences and became an enduring theme of the genre. As the Western genre evolved, the role of the horse remained steadfast. From the silent movies of the early 20th century to the talkies of the 30s and 40s, the horse was a constant, a silent protagonist a symbol of the wild, untamed spirit of the West. As we ride forward into the golden age of Westerns, the role of horses becomes even more central. This period, spanning the mid-20th century, saw an explosion in the genre's popularity. The silver screen was awash with the rugged landscapes of the American West, populated by stalwart cowboys and their trusted steeds. As we delve into the golden age, we encounter icons such as John Wayne and Clint Eastwood, whose names are synonymous with the Western genre. Yet, their fame would not be as it is without their equine companions. Duke, Wayne's trusted horse, was as integral to his character as his signature drawl. Eastwood's rawhide, on the other hand, was a symbol of the cowboy's independence and resilience. These actors and their horses painted a picture of the West that was as romantic as it was thrilling. Audiences were captivated by the harmonious dance between horse and rider each trusting the other implicitly in the face of danger. The sight of a cowboy galloping across the plains, his loyal steed kicking up dust against a setting sun, 
became an emblem of the Western narrative. The Golden Age also saw a shift in storytelling. Horses were no longer just means of transport. They became characters in their own right, with personalities as distinct as their riders. Who can forget Silver, the spirited horse of the Lone Ranger, or Trigger, Roy Rogers, Golden Palomino, known as the smartest horse in movies? The horse, in its silent strength, became a symbol of the West's untamed spirit. The scenes they graced were imbued with a sense of majesty and grandeur that only these noble creatures could provide. They were the beating heart of the genre, the pulse of the West. As the poet Ronald Duncan once said, the horse is the projection of people's dreams about themselves, strong, powerful, beautiful. And so, in the golden age of Westerns, horses were the embodiment of these dreams. They were the unspoken heroes of the West. The golden age of Westerns would have been incomplete without these majestic creatures. In the modern Western, horses continue to play a pivotal role. They are not merely props or modes of transportation, but characters in their own right. With the evolution of cinema, the portrayal of these magnificent creatures has also evolved, reflecting the changing dynamics of the Western genre. In the early years of Westerns, horses were often seen as trusty companions, an extension of the cowboy's own persona. Now, they are more than just the cowboy's partner. They are symbols of freedom, of the raw and untamed spirit of the West, portrayed with an increased level of complexity and depth. In contemporary Westerns, we see the horse's role expand beyond the physical. They are integral to the narrative, their presence often adding layers to the story and the characters. They carry the cowboy through his journey, both literally and metaphorically, their hoofbeats echoing the heartbeat of the frontier. Despite the advancements in filmmaking techniques, the use of real horses in Westerns remains a constant. While computer-generated imagery and special effects have their place, nothing can replicate the authenticity and emotional resonance of a real horse. They bring a level of realism and emotional depth that CGI simply cannot match. Their grace, their power, their spirit, it's, it's all part of the magic of the Western genre. And so, as we journey through the sweeping landscapes and dramatic narratives of the modern Western, the horse remains at the center. From the dusty trails to the epic showdowns, they are there, steadfast and enduring. They carry the cowboy, yes, but they also carry the story, the emotion, the very essence of the Western genre. Even in the age of CGI and special effects, the horse remains a powerful symbol of the Western genre. Their presence in these films is a testament to their enduring significance, a reminder of the indomitable spirit of the West that continues to captivate audiences around the world. The bond between a cowboy and his horse is unbreakable, a testament to the enduring appeal of the Western genre. The connection between man and beast, cowboy and horse, is a narrative thread that weaves itself through the very fabric of the Western film. Think of the iconic John Wayne and his faithful steed, Dollar, a partnership that spanned over a decade and several films, or Clint Eastwood's bond with the striking sorrel horse he rode in the outlaw Josie Wales. These relationships were not merely about transportation. They were about companionship, loyalty, and a shared sense of purpose. The cowboy trusts his horse with his life, and the horse in turn trusts the cowboy. This mutual trust is a paramount element in the Western genre. It's a bond that's tested and proven time and again in high noon standoffs, grueling cattle drives, and when the chips are down. It's a testament to the raw, unfiltered emotion that permeates the genre and pulls us in, scene after scene. In the world of Westerns, the horse isn't just a mode of transport or a tool for the cowboy. It's a character in its own right, with its own personality and quirks. A cowboy's horse is an extension of himself, a reflection of his spirit. It's this emotional depth that draws us in, makes us care, and keeps us coming back for more. And let's not forget the more recent years. Films like The Horse Whisperer and Brokeback Mountain have continued to explore the deep connection between cowboys and their horses, adding layers of complexity and emotion that resonate with audiences even today. Through the ups and downs, the horse remains the cowboy's most loyal companion. This relationship is the heart of every Western film. It's a bond that transcends the silver screen, touching our hearts and stirring our souls, reminding us of the timeless appeal of the cowboy and his faithful steed. 
From the dawn of cinema to the modern age, horses have been the unsung heroes of the Western genre. These majestic creatures have galloped alongside cowboys, creating an indelible image that has become synonymous with freedom, courage, and the untamed spirit of the Wild West. We've traced the hoofprints of these horses through the annals of cinematic history, from the early days of silent films to the golden age of Westerns and into the vibrant landscape of contemporary cinema. Through each era, the role of the horse has evolved, yet remained central to the narrative, embodying the essence of the Western genre. In the dawn of cinema, horses served as silent companions, their strength and grace amplifying the rugged charm of the cowboy. As the Western genre matured, so did the roles of these equine actors. They became characters in their own right, their individual personalities shining through, adding depth and nuance to the stories. In the golden age of Westerns, horses were not just props, but co-stars. They shared the limelight with famous riders, their names becoming as recognizable as the cowboys they carried. Silver and Trigger, the faithful companions of the Lone Ranger and Roy Rogers, are etched in our collective memory, their tales of bravery and loyalty captivating audiences for generations. Today, the modern Western continues to honor this bond between man and horse. The relationship has deepened, reflecting not just companionship, but a profound connection that speaks to our shared history and enduring spirit. The poet Ronald Duncan once wrote, The horse, here is nobility without conceit, friendship without envy, beauty without vanity. These words perfectly encapsulate the appeal of horses in the Western genre. They are the heart and soul of these films, their nobility, friendship, and beauty echoing in every gallop, every whinny, every toss of the mane. As we ride off into the sunset, remember the integral role of these majestic creatures in shaping the Western genre. And if you enjoyed this journey, don't forget to like and subscribe for more captivating stories from the world of cinema.